Hello, Twitch. Okay, I, the microphone's picking stuff up. Um, oh, wow, that looks... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't look looks okay. Um, sometimes my, since my monitor is up a little bit higher, sometimes it looks a little dark. Um, so, welcome to Retro Night. Uh, yeah, I, I realized this morning, uh, with Kansas Fest coming next week, Kansas Fest being the annual, uh, celebration of Apple II computers in Kansas City, Missouri, that I'm super looking forward to. Uh, me, whoa. My camera just decided to commit seppuku. I'm not sure why. Hmm. Camera, camera plus. That's better. Uh, back there. Um, thank you, A2 History. It is, yep, my children are in the background. Um, many of, some of them, some of them are next to me. Some of them are under the table. And I made good background for the stream. So, um, so for tonight, uh, we're going to make we're gonna go a little bit different. We're playing uh, Task Times in Tone Town, which is a point and click adventure for the Apple II GS. Um, um, what to say about it? Uh, I've never played this. So, you're going to be experiencing it for the first time along with me. Um, I, uh, I clicked around in it the first couple screens a little bit earlier today just to make sure that everything worked properly. Um, I'm not running this on the metal. Yeah, the metal's right there. <laughs> um, over there. Metal's right there. But uh, I don't have a good way to get from the metal to the uh, Mac Pro yet. So I'm running this on the uh, Sweet 16 emulator. So uh, it's running in, in an emulator on my Mac Pro. Uh, I had to turn it way down when I first ran it. The thing ran at like super fast speeds. It was kind of crazy. Um, I had to look up the clock speed of the GS. I'm like, I should know it because I own one, but I don't. Yeah, I need some good OG hardware capture. That's expensive. That that that's I need a lot of other things. That's like way down here on the list sector is 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 hardware capture because I would love to. I mean, I would love to run all this stuff into the pro, but that's just more money than I have right now. So we're gonna get into this. Uh, let me turn the. Uh, so the first of all, the weirdest thing is um, the game is in mono. Or at least it's coming through in mono on my headset. I'm not sure if that's something I don't have set up right. Uh, I played along with it a lot this morning, and there's nothing really on here. I don't need debug options or anything weird like that. Um, so I'm only hearing it in one headphone, which is weird. I also can't turn it down, which is like unbelievably irritating. Um, I think it has to do with how I probably should have done this on the Windows side because uh, the Windows side plays nicer with uh, capturing uh, screen audio. But I just, that, so, that felt wrong somehow. Yeah, 2.8, that's what I have it on is 2.8 megahertz. So uh, let's get into this. So let's turn the sound on. I'm going to turn the. On your, I, it's loud for me, but I'm going to turn the sound way down on your side. Um, I can control it through, I can control it through the sliders on OBS. So where is Sweet 16? So we start out with this amazing dog with, we, so you know this is going to be fun. We start out with a screen with dog with press pass. I mean, we, we know we're in for, for a good time. Uh, I love this, uh, this, uh, kind of a classic of the Apple IIGS, uh, era, uh, as I alluded to in my Twitter earlier. Uh, it might be. Uh, I would assume the Sweet 16 is exact, is emulating exactly what the GS is gonna do. And I do not, even in my GS, even in that one, I don't have the, the sound card for it. I have... I have the CFFA, I have the Ethernet, and I have the ton of memory, but I don't have sound in it yet, so 
Maybe it is. It probably is, because I assume the thing only has one speaker. So, Task Times in Tone Town, Interplay Productions, uh, copyright 1986, which is when the GS came out in Activision. Uh, well, the brainchild of one burger, Becky Heinemann, who I tweeted about earlier. She's amazing and knows more than probably most people will ever forget. Um, yeah, if it sounds terrible, guys, let me know. All right, so uh, click in. And we get started in that horrible in that. So, um, it's a text adventure with graphics, as near as I can figure. So I've got, uh, this is where I am. This is a picture. This is things I can do. I, can, I think I can also type. Uh, I can go directions. I can look. I can punch someone. I can talk to someone. I can pay for something. Yeah, Burger Becky's very cool knows more probably has forgotten more than i will ever know about these machines so uh this is your grandfather's main living area in a secluded winterized log cabin deep in the northern woods the dining table has an order slip from the local pizzeria spot is here lying on the floor and it asks me to do things so there's a couple ways i can do this i can go look table and there's an order slip on it but that's, you know, that's old school, older school. That's text only. We've got graphics. So I can come up here, I can look at, and I can click on the paper. You can't help but notice that the anchovy and pepperoni combo has been circled. It's Gramps' favorite, but always gives him terrible nightmares. So what I'm doing here is looking for clues. Um, I have this horrible feeling that I'm gonna want a piece of paper. So I'm gonna grab one right now. As the, the, as the, you know, 12 year old me kind of remembers that sometimes you need to take notes when you're doing this. So Gramps gets nightmares. It's a comfortable, well-worn couch. Ha ha ha, there's time enough for that later. This game, uh, from what I've read, this game has an absolutely great sense of humor and I think we're already seeing that. So there's, <laughs> uh, Bookshelves, they're filled with dusty rare books. Better not mess with them or Gramps might get sore. Um, see a lot of trees outside. There's a table. I looked at the order slip. So uh, normal in you know, old school text adventures like Zork or, or Hitchhikers, you would type which direction you're going to go. Over here we have a compass that's going to let us go different places. So let's see what's, tell me about hit, drop, get, talk, enter. Okay. I was just curious what all the different uh, things were. You know, back in the days, I'm, I didn't read a manual because back in the day, a lot of people didn't get manuals. Um, if you were, if you had a lot of software back in the day for an Apple or any other retro computer, you probably got it from someone who knew someone who knew someone who was on a BBS. So let's go east. Okay, I can't go east. That's going to take me into the wall. Yeah, I want to walk to the wall. No, it's not going to let me. North is into the wall. West. You're in the hallway off the living area. A bedroom is uh, to the south while the lab door is off to the north. Let's go look in the, let's go south. Go uh, creep in Gramps' bedroom. You're in a messy bedroom, so my bedroom, apparently. <laughs> Gramps was never the best housekeeper, even though he keeps a spotless laboratory. Spot sits by the foot of the bed whining. I assume Spot is the dog. I assume Spot is going to end up being the dog that we, I, we, found, we saw doing this at the beginning, but uh, we'll see. More. 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 Whining softly. Okay, so we've got a more picture we can click on. Um, the closet. All those clothes are still here. Look drawers, tisk tisk, where is your mind? Well, there's an open drawer. My mind is nowhere. Game, please. What's this blue thing? Uh, 
book dresser. The drawers are a bit untidy, but that seems normal enough, especially for Gramps. You look marvelous. <laughs> this game's... I, I'm enjoying this already. The bed hasn't been slept in for a day or two. That's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. The lab door is off to the north. Go south. Spot is here barking at the kitchen counter. I feel like I want to save the lab. How dare I do what adventure games have conditioned me to do? Well, I know, right? What the heck? What in the world am I doing? I think I want to save the lab because I feel like... I'm, so I'm, maybe I'm metagaming a little bit here, but I've played enough adventure games to know that the lab is probably important, and I probably want to save it till late, the end. So let's explore the whole house first. So I got a kitchen. This is a fun-looking kitchen. I, that's, an, that's a really old stove. It is an old iron stove. Yes. There's a key in the jar. Hmm. Get, take key. Get key. I've got a key in my inventory. Okay, cool. So I don't have to, at least I don't have to keep track of what's in my inventory. Ah, uh, the sink. Adventurous souls aren't stuck in the kitchen. So th I'm going to make it say the, I see nothing special in the bottles. Probably a good thing. Okay, so it is a good thing. I'm going to continue to metagame. Tell me about... Oh, okay. Here's... Can I pet Spot? Oh, you can pet the dog. Had to check. You always have to check if you can pet the good boy. You can pet the good boy. Somebody alert that Twitter account. Uh, so save game. Your game is safe. Yes, they say, uh, <laughs> yes, pet the dog. Twig, we, we alert the Twitter account. You can pet the dog in task times in Tone Town. All right. So north. Uh, west, was it? Probably should be drawing a map. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go. The door is locked. Gee, I don't know. I can't imagine how I'm supposed to get into the lab. You're in the door and rush inside. You're in Gramps' lab. It looks like it could use a good dusting. Remember, Gra and what did we learn before? Gramps keeps a spotless lab, and the lab could be dusty, and there's a half-eaten pizza and fishbowl. Um, so these all could be clues. You see a book. Get book. Um, can I, can I read the book? The book is open to a page whose date is just two days ago. It said, shouldn't have had the pizza, fell asleep with the hoop on, fear the worst. Grabbing some pic picks for barter. I'm going through to examine pizza nightmare. Damages, rips in space are feared to be, except for the first part of the book encrypted with arcane symbols and mathematics. That's all you can make out. A bunch of guitar picks sit in an otherwise empty fishbowl. It's down here. Got some guitar picks. Uh, look, pizza. It looks mighty old. Probably gross. Can I click on any of the lab equipment? No. Okay. Okay. You're in the eastern part of the lab, standing before a silvery hoop, which is large enough for you to walk through. A generator is bolted to the floor in the corner. Spot is here leaping through the hoop like a circus dog. A small plaque reads, brainwave generators, just throw the switch for a jolting experience. It's about the size of a hula hoop. I'm guessing that's the switch. 
Um, Look around and make sure the wall, get the wall, okay. This is where it wants us to go. Um, you switch, nothing unusual happens. Hmm. Three wave jetter, oh. Okay, um, so you have to, it's still a text adventure. You have to use the game to play the game. Uh, no, it, it, it the generator uh, springs to life in a high to type throw switch and not um, use the switch, apparently. Uh, gotta remember, it's a text adventure and you have to use the game to play the game. It said just throw the switch, so you actually needed to type throw the switch. It has been, I it has probably been 20 years since I played one of these. So, um, we'll see. The generator springs to life and a hum of power pulsates through the mysterious hoop. Spot leaps up with a glance over his shoulder, then lifts loose a little yip as he leaps through the hoop in a burst of bright sparks. Yep, guess the verb. Um... Yep, I want to go. I want to go eat through the hoop. Use. Guess the verb. You go through the hoop. You get dizzy for a moment, then find yourself at another place. You're in a dirt filled construction site. A trench running north and south starts here. It appears to be dug by unconventional means. The walls of it are smooth. You look at Spot and notice he looks radical. He turns to you and says, Say bye. He says, Say bye to Spot and low to Inyo. I have arrived. Let's blast. Inyo is following you. Okay. Um. To do, to do. Um, tell me about this place. Ah! Not helpful game, but <laughs> games were a lot harder back then. I and I, I wish I. <laughs> Pet Enio. Yeah, he could purr now. I could. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if he could purr, now he can purr. So he's dog cat hybrid. Um, I don't have a fact up. Um, I'm not cheating. I'm sure somewhere on GameFacts.com. <laughs> I don't know why the dog is purring, but the dog is a cat. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's a fact for this, but where's the fun in that? All right, so we got a north-south trench. Um, we've got a construction site. Let's start clicking on stuff. Look, trench. The sides of the sandy trench appear to be fused as if burned by a strong acid. Um, okay. I see Gramps' lab, so apparently I could go. I wonder if the hoop is what made the trench. But then there's these barrels here. And the barrels, you know, uh, well, let me click on the barrels. Okay. Um. Hmm. <sighs> North or south? Yes, I'm drawing a map. Trench with hoop. North. You're 
in a dirt-filled construction site. A trench heads off to the south. Okay, we can't go any farther. It appears to be dug by unconventional means. The walls of it are smooth. Enio looks over the edge of the trench and peers in. I assume I'm saying the dog's name right. Um, you brush some dirt to side and cover a jar. Get jar. I've got a silver jar. Uh, da 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 da. Anything else? Click, 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 click. All right. Um, I guess it wants us. Can I go north? Can't go north. Can't go west. Can't go east. Oh, I can go east. Okay. Trench jar east. Um, I'm on a north and south sidewalk. There's a strange bullet-shaped building to the west and the east and the construction site to the west. I can read. Enia sniffs, sniffs the breeze like a young pupper snapper. Okay, now I want to... Oh! Stupid tourist. That's not where I wanted to go. I want to actually... I just want to go south and see if there's anything we missed. Oh, I can't go in that direction. Okay. Ah! I think I died. Franklin's snarl appears muttering, I hate tourists. He then grabs you and throws you to the crocagators. It seems the game has ended. Would you like to try again? I died. I wonder how many times does that that is gonna happen. Um, wow, that was quick. Yes, I would like to try again. All right. Um, to the kitchen to get the key. To the lab. Get the book. Get the guitar picks. Uh, I saved. I I probably could. I I so I'm gonna save. I saved, but I saved like right at the beginning. I feel like that that my, me dying is gonna happen a lot in this. Uh, I'm probably supposed to trade with him or something, or punch him maybe. Um. So we're going to save here. Okay, we know we can pet the dog. The game is safe. <laughs> learning by dying. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to, yeah, learning by dying. Learning that you need to actually save the game. Okay. Um, go north. Find the jar. East. All right. North and south sidewalk. Enia sniffs the breeze like a young pupper snapper. You're on a north and south sidewalk. The east is the Jamax station, while the construction site is off to you west. Hovering before you is a float phone. Lift receiver, follow directions. See if I can spell. Nope. At the sound of the tone, insert a pick for information. Apparently a guitar pick is a currency in this game. Insert. You insert one pick into the float phone in here. The top tune is Tass by the Daglets. Okay. 
no go. Um, it's a task, and the title of the game, meta gaming again. The title of the game is Task Times in Tone Town. So, um, I feel like that might be important somehow. Um. Okay. Go south. You're on the sidewalk right outside the Tone Town Times. Sitting on the sidewalk is a small newspaper dispenser. <laughs> oh, I just got burned. I got burned by the game. Don't be such a cheapskate. Buy one. <laughs> uh, let's save here. <laughs> I am I am highly entertained at the moment. Um, <laughs> I am super entertained. Your game is saved. Okay, buy paper. You insert a pick, open the nurse pa dispenser, and get it. Read paper. Which article? Oh. Gramps vanishes. Franklin Snarl linked with mysterious disappearance. Okay, why? Where am I and why do they know about my grandfather? Oh, I have a Tone Town newspaper now too. Sweet. Okay, cool. Um, read. Well, two. Boom feared. Franklin Snarl purchases choice in-town sites for the project of Snarl Construction Corp. Location, location, location. That's everything in real estate. Franklin Snarl was close. Is Franklin Snarl my grandfather or does everybody just call him Gramps? Uh, I see nothing special on the building. Uh-oh. Muttering faint but annoying stupid tourist. Uh, let's move. You're sitting in the Chimere in the Jamax salon. Off to the east, you see a rack of brightly colored clothes through a doorway. Chaz, Tone Town's famous body stylist, hands you a die-cut diorama. I think I'm supposed to disguise myself so I don't look like it. Yeah, I know he's the croc who killed me. I'm, I, that's why I'm, I feel like I'm supposed to come here first and disguise myself as whatever gravy that's like super 80s um so that i don't look like a tourist so i don't get at use diorama choose a color uh pink Jazz puts a wild streak of pink in your hair and says, now you're looking tone. Better that than uh, John Boy Waltoon look you had. Let's get back to the teak. Um, okay. Oh my word. Oh wow. Um, it's a remarkable jumpsuit was designed by a body style as it comes complete with a built-in backpack. There are pockets all over the front, a label on it, uh, tropo wear from down under 5P. Okay, it's probably, probably picks. It's a metal bracelet that is by jumpsuit by... Hey! Okay, I think I need to get there faster. Yeah. Uh. 
Uh, load game. Um. The. That's not where I want to be. We are 100 for, okay kids, we are gutlets. Okay kids, we are safe scumming our brains out. Use. Choose pink. Um, I believe east. Buy jumpsuit. Uh, where? Okay, so now we don't look like a tourist, theoretically. I have a jumpsuit, I have a hooplet, I have a pink streak in my hair. I Hopefully I look like I uh, belong here. Um... Okay, let's, okay. Can I do it again? Okay. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Oh, okay, so it's not gonna <laughs> save game. Yes, it's exactly what I'm going to do. I just wanted to make sure, I wanted to see if I could do more. <laughs> I want like all of the colored streaks. Do you have two colored streaks? I want two colored streaks. That's no fun. Yeah, I know, right, Sector? All right, so now we look. Read article one. And I don't have my caps lock on, by the way. Uh, Franklin Snarl. All right. Article three. Pets are pests. The fear over the blob pets rages. Ah oh, ha ha! I understand. Suddenly, I understand a joke from Kansas Fest that was made for that's been going around for many years. And apparently, I should have played this game a long time ago. The fear over the blob pets rages as many citizens find themselves rugless. It burns me up, says Nessie Locke. Ha ha ha. Recent blob pet. Purchaser. They're cute but tough to housebreak. So they're cats? I, I desperately want them to look like cats. I desperately want them to be small blobs of fur. And they're probably not. They're probably actual blobs. <laughs> um, how many articles are there? The search is on. Tone Town travelers dis disappear in the vicinity of the wetlands. Search party feared lost too. Hmm. I'm just going to keep going until I run out of articles. Lost near nature trail. Debossed metal card. Reward offered by F. Snarl. So I bet I have to find... So, okay. I bet I have to find that. F. Snarl is probably somebody I need to get to talk to. Snarl. 
so I need to find the nature trail. And I need to find a debossed metal card. I really hope that's not all of the space in my inventory. But it probably is. Because old game. Where are we on? Six or seven? There are five hearts. There are five lights! I don't know. Maybe you get that. Maybe you don't. Okay. Um. So we, we saw the buildings. Nothing special. One piece. The dispenser is empty. Uh, because I bought the paper. You're in the main office of the Tone Town Times, the local newspaper. There's a doorway off to the east. The editor is sitting behind his desk. Working. Ah, I have to use first names. I don't know his first names. So let's go back outside. Can't go in that direction. Can I go south? No. Can I go north? Can I go north? Okay, I was there. I don't know the dude's first name. I can appreciate it. Good. Somebody got it. Um... Um, it's probably not going to let me do this. No, he does. Um, because I want to look at the paper because the editor's name is going to be in the paper. And that's like probably... I don't know guy's name. Can't go west. Um. Enio has a desk. You are sitting behind a terminal and printer in the newsroom across from Enio's desk. A small computer with a printer uh, built into it. I'm a wee dog wise guy. <sighs> um. Enio, tell me your boss is. <laughs> Enio, <laughs> tell me your boss is <laughs> punch terminal. Tell me your boss's name. Go, can't go north. Can't go south. Um. All right. Oh, Pfft. game is like, you are stupid. Maybe uh, that's okay. The terminal displays the following type your name. Um, right, verb first. Do you need a press pass? Yes. Printer error. <laughs> Smack terminal. <laughs> I don't think it's going to let me do that. It's a 
standard laser induced photon emission thermal printer. Open printer. Can't open the printer. Um. Okay, so percussive maintenance is not the answer here. <laughs> um, wow. Um, <sighs> it's like real life. <laughs> Why is this game just like my life? You can't fix the printer. All right. Um, Enio probably has a press pass. You know, you'd think the dog would be a lot more useful. It has something to do with the printer. Um... Uh, photon emission, laser induced photon emission thermal printer. Is that really how it works? Um, does the printer have ink? Okay. Whoa! Shoot! No, 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 no. So I sit here in front of Enia's desk naked, apparently, now. Jar. Back to looking like we're supposed to. Okay. Um, um, buy, enter. That's drop. We're not going to do that. We're not going to get. Yeah, you're a wise guy. Um. We go north, okay. Um. Okay, you're standing, that's, like, obviously this is not where we need to be, so I'm center of the town square. Beautiful Weeping Willows pet store, an oval-shaped building. So go, so go pee. 
if you have to pee, pee. Punchy. <laughs> oh, yes, I know, right? I see nothing special this far away. Um, in a beautiful park, there is a crowd of people here listening to rock music. Band is playing a window with air. So, uh, Inio looks around and barks loudly, joining in the fun. One ear flops over every so often, endearing him to a passing toner. Uh, that food looks like- he looks tough and burly. She looks neat, petite, and sweet. Um... I don't know anybody's first names, so I can't actually talk to people. Enio says, I sell sorrel meat. You're standing in a small clearing. There's a stone wishing well with patches of ivy twining up it here. A sign says, preserve our wooded areas. Please stay on the trail. No problem. The trail appears to go to the north and to the east. Enio emits a low growl and he circles the well and returns to your side. The wishing well is made of stone and wood. You look over the edge and see there are rusty metal handholds leading into the darkness. Um, okay, I feel like that's going to be important later. You're on a nature trail leading to a pretty section of flowers and trees. Under a sign says, please preserve our wooded areas, stay on the trail. Enio, do not chase the birds. The conifers close about you in a damp din and densely treed wood. From the north, a strange musty odor permeates the air, making it thick and heavy. The ground here feels spongy and dust billows up with each- YES! I FOUND THE MAGIC MUSHROOMS! Large mushroom growths encrust the tree trunks, looming eerily in the dim light. A musty odor thick with ivy is directly uh hybrid, musty odor permeates the air. A high brick wall with direct thick with ivy is directly ahead. Can I take some of the shrooms? Cause the brick wall thick with ivy is topped with shards of embedded broken glass, curls of barbed wire, and tiny luckies. Okay, so I guess Okay, so I guess that's not where I wanna be. Please tell me I can take a mushroom. I think it would have already let me. I want to do shrooms, man. No. <laughs> uh, can I go east? I can. The ground fills spongy uh, mushrooms. Still have brick wall. Still have mushrooms. Uh, da, 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 we still have, okay, I probably, um, don't want to keep going this way. I feel like that's telling me. Okay. You are getting stoned. <laughs> you need to stop. You are getting stoned. Uh, sandy patch of soil here, a faint path heads east. Um, okay. Wasn't somebody supposed to... Isn't somebody supposed to have lost? I should probably, uh, again, should be taking better notes, not taking notes. Um, lost near Tatcher Trail, debossed metal card, reward offered by F Snarl.
Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Um... Let's be stupid, but let's save first. Go down. Well, Enio hops on your back and you grab the handholds and slowly step down there one by one as you inkly back into the bottom of a well. Off to the west, a doorway is carved into the smooth stone wall, heading into a gloomy, barely lit tunnel. Ah! I found the Gru. Uh, load game. Okay. Not do that again. Let's not go down the well. <laughs> We were here. Oh, Clapper. Oh. Let's go. Let's look at the pet store. You're standing inside a snarl of pets. There's a glass top full of. Those are the creepiest looking. <laughs> I do not need a blob pet. I probably do need a blob pet at some point. I don't want a blob pet. That is creepy as heck. Oh my gosh. <laughs> A uh, glass off wall of blob pets making strange squealing sounds. There is a small sign near the register on the wall uh, and a clock near the front door. Enio appears very nervous. It's a small unlit light. Blob pets are cute little animals. The clock reads me back in and the pointer is at 13. An old black antique looking register but made of modern plexiglass. This place is so weird, which I think is the f you can hear the blinking. <laughs> I know it's there. There, they are, that is creepy as. Ugh, can't go this. Can I go north? Can't go north. Can't go south. Gotta go back out. Clothes, party supplies. I owned a flow rink in this game. Tough break, but as the program got too big on the other side, so they say, says flow. Wait for the next game or sell party supplies. She wipes a tear away with a laugh. Hey, maybe next game. Um... Party day in town. Okay. I feel like he lost out a little one. Gramps came through this way. It's hard to judge exactly when. Time is relatively different on this side of the hoop. He grins at you. Okay. I think I need to be talking to the dog more. Um, yeah, let's not talk to him. <laughs> I 
I didn't die. Yay. I look like I belong in Tone Town. He didn't, he didn't know I was a tourist. Uh, she's smiling at me. Okay. Um, that's great, but I can't. Smells like something died. Let's be gone. Yeah, uh, me. <sighs> Last game. Ah, Enio, Enio, please. I know we already saw this, I just feel like... Um. Okay. Forest is too thick. Conifers. Oh, this is when I get frustrated. I am trying desperately not to cheat. I, I can't even tell you how badly I just want to bring up GameFAQs.com right now. Um, I'm open to ideas. You just yipped. Inia is getting on my nerves. Um, Inio is incredibly getting on my nerves. Punch Enio. <sighs> oh, to have my twenty oh to have my, my twelve year old self's brain, because she probably would have figured it out a long time ago. Have I gotten this to have I gotten to this point where like I literally need a fact to play anything? Like, have I fallen that far? Oh. You hear the breathing of a horrible creature slodging through the wetlands. You are on a long river which flows from the north and the east. I probably should be making a map. Around you, the shoreline melts into boggy marshland. Uh, let's go back to where we, we came from. Um, I hear the beat of rock and roll, okay. Crowd, not crows.
I can spell. The best pick is Tropoware from Down Under, which is what I'm wearing. Die cuts are toned. Uh, warm up with a fizzy at Fast Freddy's. I would like to find Fast Freddy's. The top tune is Task by the Daglets. Okay, so I've gotten all the information I can get out of the float phone. This is the construction site. I've been here. Would I be a bad person if I if I uh, use the internet to get myself unstuck? Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gamefacts.com. <laughs> Uh, and it's going to be something, you know what's sad is it's going to be something unbelievably stupid and uh, I'm going to just like bang my head. Luckily I have a, uh, I use a play mat under, uh, a magic play mat under my keyboard and mouse. So when I do bang my head on my desk, it won't hurt as much because there's a soft, cushy um, almond cat play mat underneath everything. I'm playing test times in tone town. It's on there. Apple II, 1986. Facts. Please be, please, please have a fact. Oh, hey, there's a map. There's a map. It's a map. Um, uh, we're saving this map. Cop, uh, save image to downloads. Okay. I have a map. I don't know if this is going to be helpful, but I have a map. Um, okay. Past times in tone town. Da 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 da. Command walkthrough. I don't need a command walkthrough. I want a detailed walkthrough. We've got the trench. We've got the salon. I got the jumpsuit. I got the hooplets. Okay, um, somehow I was supposed to, I bet, I'm wondering if, so apparently I'm supposed to know these people's names. Um, because I wonder if there was a manual with this thing that introduced you to some of the different characters. Yeah, yeah, probably there was, because apparently I feel like you're supposed to know the name. I bet you anything. So I got this on Asimov, but I bet if I look up <laughs> Internet Archive Test Times in Tone 
downtown. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what the Internet Archive has for us. Um, Pastimes in Tone Town. It has a different version. Uh, JPEG is 21 items. Screenshot. It has a bunch of screenshots. Okay. Um. Apple 2GS, Task Times in Tone Town, Animated GIF, Emulator Screenshot, JPEG of Screenshots. Um, I don't need to I don't need to give, don't, don't give me, just. Uh, meta, 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 screenshots, the disk image, okay. I don't see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Um, anywho, we now know that dude's name. Task times, well, let's just. Full text, aha, I found it. Full text of Apple manual, task times in Tone Town manual HQ. Are you tasked at the task times roll? Evil look if you called out of town function, get the blah 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 blah. Somebody's vanished through hoop into the unknown, or have you been for four? This is crazy. Of the task times, yes, I know how to, uh, I absolutely. If you have one or joystick, command icons. If you don't have a joystick or mouse, read the information and in this book for joystick. Oh, da, 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 da. Keywords in your commands are the verbs, nouns, and prepositions. Talk to man or climb up ladder. Climb up ladder. You cannot, um, if you type, Getting around town, click, click, click. You can also use the directional keys on the Atari. Um, all right, evil lurks. Type quick save, a search progress so far. If you're called out of town, you can save your game. Uh, function key shortcuts. Be curious, look at everything, and don't beset, get to look inside things. Talk to everyone, write things down. Good reporters take notes. Drawing a map of Tone Town and its environs isn't a bad idea either. It might come in handy if you want to move fast. Place as many things as you can inventory, whether you just pick them up or have to buy them. There's no telling what you need later on. Read the newspaper. Um, take chances with the quick save option. Okay, so how in the heck are you supposed to figure out what the dude's name is? Um, because you're supposed to. Apparently, know that the dude's name is New You. Um, how in the world? Was I supposed to know that? Of course, there could, I mean, you just, like, back then, games came, most, games came with so much back then. Um, okay. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, cool. I found a new spot. The waitress has seated you at a booth and waits to take your order. Hoping for where you sit, you see Fast Freddy's is really hopping. There are dancers. 
I found a new spot. Whirling around the dance floor, people eating and chatting very smooth along the walls while rock music blasts around in the room. There's a small sign on the wall and you see mitts. Shoot. I don't think I need... Read sign. Activate your brain's nerve. Um, I it's not where I want to be. So that's past Freddy's. Okay. Go print or press pass at a free terminal. You're on photo assignment for the legend. Here is an instant camera. We need a close-up of the daglets. Oh, crap. Um... Can't carry any more. I need these two things. I need the guitar picks. Uh, where was Dog's desk? Oh, I think you actually have to type yes. Oh my god. So I think I just knocked the camera over. No, I just knocked the speaker over. <laughs> so I turned the terminal on. Ask me what I didn't turn on. Wow. <laughs> this is going swimmingly. <laughs> Even with the fact I can't do this. Okay, um, what do I probably not need right now? Probably don't need the newspaper. All right, I see a newspaper. I have a press pass and a camera. Um... Um, we did, we are not going to the pet store. Show, press, pass. Ugh. 
Because I'm betting that the Daglets is the name of the band. It's, I'm supposed to know people's names, and I'm not sure why I don't. Stelgad takes you by the arm and leads you through the crowd to the back of the bandstands where the Daglets have just left. Can't carry any more. Um, shoot. Gramps' book. The jar. need to press pass to get back here. Their break isn't over. Zagvin lead member says forward and says, it's an honor Enio. So apparently Enio, everybody knows who he is. He smiles. With our new Zag tones, the Daglets can make great new sounds. That's why our song Tass is a hit number one. The new sound is electrolic. The old man came through a while back and gave us the idea for the Zag tone. It makes as many different sounds as there are things to strike it against. We wanted to play for the commuters at the island of the tower, but they said our Zag tones would damage the equipment there. No loss. The park is a far better gig. So it's a thing that you, but I, 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 I want, Stelgad walks up and says, your break's over, see you guys later, and escorts you back to the park. You're standing in a beautiful park, there's a crowd of people here, band is playing in the bandstand, a woman, okay, so I can do that again if I have to, to go back and get the mitts. Uh, I assume I want to go take this back to my boss. Such as it is. Um, give picture. You've proven yourselves worthy of a chance to really work with the legend, New You, says motioning towards Enio the dog. It seems like our old time friend and creator, Gramps, is in deep water with Snarl. It's time you and Enio checked it out. We think he's being held in the tower. When you finally get to Snarl, be sure to sick Enio on him. Okay, so that's the command. Sick Enio on Snarl. Okay, so that was in what we call, that was what we like to call a side quest. Get gold, sure. Um, probably don't need the camera anymore because I probably need to go back and get the mittens, get the gloves. Unless I was supposed to just type talk to editor. Maybe that's what it wanted. Instead of talk to man, talk to editor. Might have to try that at some point. Um, by names, it might mean, uh, I think that might be, I'm not sure if it means names, or if that's just the game's way of saying you have to be specific about who you're talking to. Anywho. Um... All right. Uh. Oh, interesting. 
interesting. Only one visit per pass, Inyo. I hope I didn't need those gloves. Um... But I did save the game. All right, so tower. So I've got, I've got a map. Um, I can't. Uh, hang on, let me. Oop. All right, I'm just gonna bring the map up. Um, plus. Window capture. Um, is this preview? Okay, so I have a map. You're looking at it, I'm looking at it. Um, can I make it bigger for you? Probably. We think he's being held in the tower, so I am. I am at the park. Brick wall, mushrooms, tree, red devils, huge mushrooms, dust clouds, boat landing, mossy path. All right, so I know how to get to the tower. There's Snarl's house is way over here. Okay, cavern cages, tunnel, tunnel, tube, tree. Um, I wonder if those are random encounters or if those encounters um, are fixed. All right, um, either way, I need another screen. I literally need like three screens to play to do this. Um, all right, I need to bring this up, okay. Um, okay. I'm gonna click for, okay. All right. We're gonna go north. Ooh, I gotta turn some lights on in here. That's better. Go north. Go north. More north. Um, oh, speaking of printers, I kind of wish I had one. Neat. What the heck? Slog through the marsh. You're at the northern end of a long, magnificent river straight ahead. Almost deafening you. I got it. Yes. Okay. Blindly following the map is also not apparently a... Uh, viable strat. All right, did we Did we drop the camera yet? I think we did. Yes, Enio. Yeah, we dropped off the camera. So when did we save? Okay.
what's kind of funny is that I remember when that kind of music would have been like, oh, I was supposed to drop the uh, press pass. I have really, really horked this up. As I skim through this, yeah, I like super, super, super messed this up. Um, I was supposed to drop the press pass, not the uh, gloves. Ugh. Um, I don't know if it's going to let me fix this or not. Let's find out. Okay. Um, I have probably painted myself into a corner at this point. But... I was supposed to take a sag, zag tone. Yeah, I, 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 wow. Um, I horked this up pretty badly. Um, so, um, I think, I, I, so, I can't recover. I have gotten, I, I, I just, bleh, words, I can use them. <laughs> I got myself to a point where I can't recover. Uh, according to what, uh, so that was kind of the thing about these games is um, once you got to, there, it wasn't like a lot of the games we have now where there's a recovery state, not necessarily soft locked, but um, I've, so I can't get back to the band. I need to get one of their instruments and the, gloves that I dropped over there um I need so I don't know if if dropping stuff places where you can't get back to counts as it being soft locked or if it's just uh you are really really bad at this and you uh you you made a mistake the you know like I guess in modern games, I'm so used to, and I think all of us are used to, just being able to recover. Like, um, there, you know, uh, 
you know, a Final Fantasy, in a Final Fan, in a modern Final Fantasy game, there's very little that you can't go back for. Generally, once the world map opens up, if you miss something, you can go back for it. Like Final Fantasy VII triggers events that are hit or out of order. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, it's yeah, I base yeah because the script for this game is completely linear. You have to, it, it's not like um, a modern game. Like I'm so you like I think we've all in in this gaming era we've been conditioned to um, have these games that aren't linear. Like in Destiny, yeah, there's a linear storyline progression. But you can, um, you know, that's, but it's not like a fixed progression. It's a, it's, you have to do this, but you can go um, run a couple strikes once they're unlocked. You can run a couple of crucible if you want to get better gear. If you, uh, you know, there's very little, uh, you don't have the, this necessarily this type of inventory management. We still have inventory management. I only have 500 slots in my vault and I am forever running out of vault space because I'm an I'm a absolute hoarder. But it's not like you have eight slots and you have to know what to drop at any given time in order to um, progress through the game properly. You have to know what to pick up, when to pick up. Um, I think a lot of that comes to um, now that we have a DVD that can hold, you know, four gigabytes of information, probably more on a Blu-ray. I don't remember off the top of my head what a Blu-ray can hold, but I'm sure it's way more. You have enough room to put all these branching, um, branching plots. 50 to 100 gigabytes on a Blu-ray. Right. That's a ton. That's crazy. You know, how much, you know, and yeah, we're doing a lot of full motion video and fully or orchestrated sound and all that, but there's so much more room for code. This is 800 kilobytes. Um, do I have one handy? This is... One of these. Maybe two of these if your game, if you were lucky and your game would have like a, um, you know, swap disc. Task Times is one disc because I've actually made the disc. I one of the somewhere in that box I have um, an actual physical disc of Task Times that I can play on the actual metal. To get replayability, you had to make it hard. You had to make it so the player, it's almost coded in that the player is going to have to play this game over and over and over and over again uh, just to get, you know, you know, games were always, you know, games were ex expensive. I don't know what something like this, I, you know, I wasn't alive, I was alive back then, but uh, me, like most people who were in the, um, who were doing computing at the time, very, uh, not a lot of people actually bought games. A lot of people, their games came from a friend of a friend of a friend who had a cracked copy of this or had downloaded a copy from a wares site or the BBS that they were a member of. Um, it's not like you could it's it, it was very different time so but for the people that did legit and people i mean obviously people legitimately bought the games because otherwise these companies wouldn't be in business i mean activision activision's still around <laughs> and in the news fairly frequently for horrible business practices but we'll talk that that's neither here nor there um but you to get any sort of length out of a game, you had to make it, you know, the, the trope is Nintendo hard. And I think even harder than Nintendo hard is, you know, Apple hard or, or you know, early, early uh, PC. Because I know, you know, a PC at, at the very beginning stood for personal computer. And that's what these things were. Yeah, Zork hard. 
Zork is terrible. You, you'll Zork is if you don't, you know, I, if you don't draw a map, keep a meticulous count of your inventory slots, and have a really good head for spatial directions, Zork is like impossible. I mean, I've messed around with Zork with a fac, and it's ter it's it's mind blowingly crazy. And you know, it's it, it's so it's just it's it was a very different time. So I mean, if like I said, like sector, like you said, you know, uh, I've triggered an event out of order. Uh, it's not necessarily I've caused that the game's code is broken, but I've created an unrecoverable situation where I'm not going to have a thing that I need at the end. So that is the story of retro games. I'm definitely going to do some more of this, I think. Um, what I might do is, I think what it might be a cool idea, and I might have to actually get a I might have to get my iPad in here to put stuff up on, on uh, off camera. Um, what I might do is something like this where I play the game blind. Like I'll get some more of these types of games, play the game blind. And then the next time I stream it, which obviously it's going to be next week. Um, next week is a <laughs> couple weeks, Kansas Fest next week. I'm totally repping. I'm going to pull down a, a fac and we'll play through it the way it's supposed to be played so that you can kind of see what it was like to go through it, but then go through the game so we can actually enjoy it the way that um, it was meant to be enjoyed. And I think that'd be neat. Um, you know, maybe we might do, um, maybe we'll pull, see, I would love to do a text adventure, but it would be so boring to watch on Twitch. Oh my gosh, there'd be like nothing to watch. It'd just be text. Because I know that there are walkthroughs of Zork, and I know that there are walkthroughs of um, uh, Zork 1, 2, and 3, and Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and some of the other old text adventures. Um, there's some really cool launchers that have been made for them. Um, I think it, I can't, they're, you know, the Eaten by a Gru podcast covers these in really great detail, though I don't want to totally step on their, on their toes. So I think that that might be a thing. I'm, I feel like there were more, I know there were more games like this for the GS. I know there was a space one that I can't remember the name of, but if I saw it, I'd know it. I want to say space ace, but I don't think that's right. Um, but it was the same idea of a point and click adventure. This was a big thing back in the late eighties when the 16 bit uh, computers the GS and it's ilk were starting to come out. So I think we might uh, do some of that, I think. You know, I'd, Minecraft is fun, but I feel like retro, I mean, this is like, there are a zillion people on Twitch streaming Minecraft. This is different, and I want to maybe do something different for a while. Uh, yeah, I'm actually ending. A A2 History, uh, thanks for watching. I'm ending the stream because um, I'm just rambling at this point. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if I think if you haven't, if you haven't given me a follow, that would be super awesome if you gave me a follow. Um, I think I will probably see both a, both of you at Kansas Fest next week. Uh, Sector, I know I'm seeing you, and I feel like uh, I'm. I feel like I should know who A2 History is, but I don't because <laughs> I'm super tired from from packing. And uh, so Kansas Fest next week, and then we'll get back to doing some more. Maybe we'll get, I think we're gonna get into some of these point and click adventures. This is kind of fun to to, to watch, and for me to play. So I'm gonna look up some more. Yeah, I know, right? I will look up some more of this, um, do some more of this. Like I said, we'll get some get some facts going off screen so that uh, we can enjoy it the way the developers meant it to be enjoyed. Uh, for now, uh, I will see you guys. I will see, you know, some of you all see in person in Meet Space next week. But uh, Twitch, I will see you in like a week and a half because by the time I travel, get home, rest it'll be probably a week tuesday or a week wednesday before i pick back up with the streaming uh so i will see you then uh until then enjoy your you know have fun and thanks for watching